On our first day at Ellington Airfield, we participated in an orientation describing how the program would proceed and were briefed on important safety information as we would be working in a busy hangar around NASA's reduced gravity planes and ground crew. Well, welcome. My name is Doug Oford. I'm the co-director of NASA's Reduced Gravity Education Student Flight, our educational flight program. Uh, what I really need to pay attention to are, are anything safety related. The first order of business after orientation was to unpack the supplies we had shipped from North Carolina and begin the assembly of our experiments. During a break, we examined the plane we would be using, a modified McDonnell Douglas DC-9. It flies a series of parabolas over the Gulf of Mexico, during which time varying degrees of weightlessness are achieved. <laughs> During the next phase, we constructed the box that was to house our experiments. Those are sort of easier to put on. You have to get everything else put together. Go ahead and just put that couple on. And then we have the other ones. Washers on. The washers on the outside and the tap on the inside. <laughs> Then we mounted the three experiments and conducted ground tests. What's going to apply is what's the metal. Well, I should start with this LED that's on the part of this experiment. Uh, about 150 more threads. LED, this is sitting on the LED. This is sticking into the gel. One afternoon, we left Ellington and drove to the Sonny Carter Training Facility operated by NASA. This building houses the Neutral Buoyancy Laboratory, one of the largest indoor pools in the world. The walls of the pool and the floor of the pool are painted white. The water is clear. Inside the pool are mock-ups of key parts of the space shuttle and the International Space Station. The Neutral Buoyancy Lab is used to train astronauts in preparation for spacewalks and working in microgravity. The Sunny Carter facility also contains a hyperbaric chamber, which was used to test our flight readiness. 
Within the chamber, our behaviors were observed as pressure was reduced to that of an altitude of 25,000 feet. We're going to discuss this as we go back down to ground level, but right now you're sitting back, you sitting, see what your body's telling you. Finally, the experiments were loaded and ready. The plane was on the tarmac and we were lined up ready to board. Jeff Milborn and I flew the first mission. After some tweaking, the experiments were flown again by Bob Gottwalls and Rachel Brady, our NASA mentor. Hi, I'm Myra Halpin from the North Carolina School of Science and Mathematics. This is Jeff Milborn. Hey, how you doing? Hi, I'm Bob Gottwalls with the North Carolina School of Science and Math. On each flight, the first two parabolas simulated Mars gravity, the next two parabolas that of the Moon, and during the final 26 we experienced microgravity. While we tended our primary experiments for the first 30 parabolas, during the last two we were encouraged to conduct secondary experiments. 